I'm Peter Penn. I'm the, I work for Amazon, TOD. I'm the technical issue editor. It's very important for the pipeline inspection. Uh, I've been in oil and gas for 15 years. Um, the NDT is very important. It's last the gate for the pipeline inspection. Typically, you find some potential potential issue. You want to evaluate for your pipe. You need the NDT technology to make sure the performance of pipeline and how many life left you need to get them maintained, which is very critical for uh, the pipeline inspection. But we're using you know the moisture de detection. We're using the the one is communication. It's more robotic mm -hmm. and. Um, the one is technology to enhance your inspection. So usually for NDT, you have a technician, uh, the excavation, the pipe, and set up the booth. Then you have people to do the inspection. And most of it the external. And for internal, you have a, a smart pick. So the, the way to change will be more robotic health the pipeline inspection without any um, the technician to involve. You can send your smart pig or send your uh, robotic sensor down to the pipe and you can inspect the detail uh, without uh, you know excavation for the for the land. So that's that's kind of new technology will be you know uh, change. And this new uh, robotic equipment will be equip a lot of uh, NDT technology like EMAT, uh, ultrasonic, uh, AD current, and infrared camera in the pipe and do the, the inspection without uh, excavation. The first thing will be safety. You know, you never know. Uh, there are lots of problems like the, the old pipeline, they don't have uh, the raker to show where there will be in the bear. So when you dig, uh, you might cause an issue or some have water. So there is an um, un unpredict, a lot of environment issue. Uh, give an example for if you, if you if pipe through the, the creek or river, then if you want to escape very close, and they have a lot of safety issue. And second one is more uh, the cost is very very high if you excavate. I think the from the you excavate one twenty by twenty, you need like forty thousand. Just just dig the hole. <laughs> not not do not mention to the inspection yet. So you will spend like forty thousand just dig a hole. So that that that's a there's a downside of uh, excavation. Yeah, for the technology, you can see the wireless technology to make your sensor become small and smaller. Uh, instead of uh, your traditional, you know, the, the, the ultrasound sensor, you had a very big, but you can, right now you can make uh, the face array sensor within like the, the half inch. So there was a lot of uh, benefit for the robotics technology. Uh, the size and the computation speed and your communication. Also have a data storage. Uh, you, you can do the inspection for a long term and you can send the data back, you know, without uh, the storage, everything. If you look at the, the, the smart pick, the, the trend, I was expecting the sensor will become small and small and more flexible. Uh, in a traditional smart pick, it's only limit, you know, 16 inch or 12 inch pipe. Once you go to small, uh, they have uh, you know the band 90 degree or up and down. Uh, you need a, a lot of uh, a restriction on that. But the new technology and uh, the new uh, the mechanical design will be help you become your sensor small and smaller. You can suit for four inch, eight inch pipe, even the two inch pipe in in the city gate. Composite pipeline will be uh, a future of the oil and gas uh, because they have better uh, strength and, and better uh, no corrosion issue and but easy to uh, to manufacturing now 
uh, more lively, so you can, you know, uh, easy to install. Uh, there will be more, uh, you, you will see the, the more pipeline application. You can see right now in the, the low pressure pipeline already been used in the last composite. And uh, depends on the, the you know, uh, a lot of research and development is going to focus on the high pressure for composite material. Um, there will be big trend for oil and gas industry. However, uh, composite material still have their own um, dis disadvantage. Like when you do the manufacturing, if you have don't have a quality control on your pipeline, the composite pipeline, and then you have a, the defect. And then once you got a defect to your pipe, uh, they will have an issue um, on the maybe it's broke or, or have a leak. Uh, another downside for the composite material would, would you have more sunlight and it, it basically you put a pipe, composite pipe above the ground, have lots of potential you will have UV light and they will decay on your plastic uh, performance. So how do you make sure um, make sure your pipeline uh, still in a good condition? Uh, we had to come up the new uh, composite pipeline inspection to have this new technology to prepare already. You know, once you have a more uh, composite pipeline in the in the field, then we can have a more um, new advanced tech NDD technology to inspect the composite pipeline. I think that the SNT would like to get more uh, the challenge how we find. Uh, new advanced technology for this new the pipeline material and make sure they have uh, a performance and life quality and then the safety for the, the people. We are creating safer world.